Happy Saturday. I'm Fox 13 meteorologist Tony Sadiku here with a tropical update as we continue to la uh, track what's left of Ian now post tropical over the Carolinas. As of this morning, top winds are 35 movement is west northwest to 12. Really just a big rainmaker for the region expected to continue to wind on down. The Hurricane Center putting out its last advisory on the storm and thankfully that storm is done, although it is producing some showers up across the mid Atlantic and uh, up across the northeast. Meanwhile, enhanced satellite shows things have finally settled down in the tropics, at least for the most part. There is an area watching a tropical wave just several hundred miles south of the Cabo Verde Islands. Uh, Hurricane Center monitoring uh, development is possible here. It would be gradual. 20% uh, over the next two days, 70% over the next five days. And thankfully, we're not concerned about this as most model indications just kind of keep it out there in the Atlantic. So here's how we're doing so far. We've gotten through a few names. Ian was last. Julia would be next. And if that storm would be would develop, that's the name it would be given. Month of October begins today. So as we get into October, we kind of shift our focus from the Atlantic and those easterly wave type storms to more the Caribbean Sea, which is a hot spot this month. So this is the area that we typically have to watch for any systems that will kind of form here, or kind of move into the Gulf of Mexico, which, as we know, is certainly a concern for us. Thankfully, no sign of that anytime soon. Of course, we'll keep the forecast updated for you always. MyFoxHurricane.com. Have a great day.